Mr. Devontae Warner, is here this morning to tell us about true love and true friendship. And I don't know who needs to hear this, but if I'm pushing you to do better, it's not to belittle you. It's not to make you feel less than a person. It's because I see more in you than you do yourself. And the friends who let you sit in the comfort of your bad habits, they do not love you as much as the ones who encourage you to do better for yourself. Mm, short and sweet, right with that heat, man. And it's so, <laughs> it's so true. We want, we want people around us that are going to confirm our biases and tell us everything's okay and rainbows, puppy dogs, and unicorns, and it's all right, sweetheart. That's why people never really go anywhere in life because they have people that want to wrap it up in a nice paper or plastic, put a bow on it, make it look all sweet. And here you go. No, thanks. I want to be told straight to my face. Hey, you're fucking up, bud. This is what you need to change. Right. And I think about DZ, you know, shout out our Mr. Producer back there in the green room. You know, I've been endlessly hard on this motherfucker. <laughs> Every time we're together, I'm always trying to get him to see something else to see the value that he has that for some reason he doesn't believe that he has. And I try to do that with so many people. I see the value you have. I God has given me this gift to see value in others that they can't see in themselves. And all I've ever done is just over and over and over again. Come on, D's, let's go. Let's do this. Try this. What do you think about this? Hey, change your perspective. Do this, right? We were talking on Monday and he was saying, oh, well, I don't know if I can do this training. And then I started talking to the manager and the manager said, you know, uh, this and that. Oh, I'll believe in the manager. I said, wait the fuck a minute. You got to have a manager tell you she believes in you for you to believe in yourself. I said, when are we going to believe in ourselves? When are we going to stand tall and say, this is who I am? He said, damn, you know, you're right. Holy shit. You're right. And I said, bro, I say these things because I fucking care about you, bro. And I've seen you level up so much that I don't want you to stagnate. And it's the same with me and Swirl. Swirl calls me on the carpet. I call him on the carpet. Fucking it's everybody in the Diamond Hand fam. If you don't have those people that are willing to check your ass and say, hey, dog, <laughs> probably not a good thing, homie. We don't do that. We, do it. we need to readjust this. We, hey, 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 it's only data. Calm down. I'm just trying to get you into the right mindset. Relax. You don't have those people in your fucking life. You're not going to go anywhere. You're going to say the same version of you. You're going to be pissed off at the world. You're never going to find anything. No success, no joy, no love, none of it. And you're just going to be in the same miserable bullshit relationships over and over and over again because you ain't got somebody to call you on the carpet. Or when they call you on the carpet, you just get mad. So you Duh. shut them out. Duh. I've seen that too. Duh. I've seen that all the time. Ugh. People get mad. They shut you out. And you try to tell them, hey, it's only data, man. And they're, oh, no, you're just picking on me. Oh, you know, you don't understand. Oh, no, no, I do understand. That's why I'm in front of you. And a lot of people end up walking away and getting away from those kind of conversations because they're uncomfortable. And that's the thing about it. You can't. You have to face those. And that's why I always look at it like, look, I have to ask myself every day, how are we feeling? How am I doing? Right? Because I know when I do wrong. I know when I'm on the wrong path. I know when I need to go to work and I need to get my gym done and I haven't eaten right. I know all those things. And I know it needs to put me on that path and put me back on that path. Like I said, we only have today. I need to start right now. Somehow i got to fit it into today because if I wait till tomorrow, man, I'm going to be in that same situation I was in yesterday. It's the, That's the problem. We have no problem putting off all the good things. We have no problem putting out all the things that we should be doing and acting like they're not big deals. But when you have people that say, Hey, maybe you want to pay attention to this. Or maybe I wouldn't say it that way. Or man, sometimes you got to pay attention to those because really they're just trying to keep you from making the mistakes that they probably made. Most people that say things like that are like, Hey, kind of seen the end of that movie right there. I don't want you to have to deal with what I went through. And I promise if I could stop it right now and kind of help you a little bit, I, it'll be a lot easier for you than it was for me. And that's the biggest thing. We have to inspire people around us. If you care about somebody that's in your circle or you, you have to, man, when you go and have lunch or dinner with them, spend the time, have the attention right with them. Hey, listen to what their problems are. Sometimes they ask you to dinner just because, hey, they want somebody to talk to and you're the person that they can confide in. So take that seriously. Don't just show up and say, hey, I'm glad to hear, you know, have tacos or whatever. Buddy, 
Don't pick up the phone. Pay attention to that person. There's a reason they want to connect with you. And sometimes it's for advice and they may not even directly ask you for that advice. They might say something and just hope you say something that will help them. And they might be trying to look for answers and not literally not be asking you questions.